because they are literally stunning. Like the packaging is. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm really excited to film this video because I got to try the new Makeup Revolution lipstick rain called the Renaissance lipstick. So I'm so excited to film it, and well, I've already filmed it, so I'm just happy that I could film this video. <laughs> And yeah, so, so I got sent these five lipsticks to try and I had so much fun trying them. There's not one that I don't like, only one that I did say, but yeah, just carry on watching to find out what I thought of them. And they're just literally amazing. Okay, so before we start the video, I thought I'd show you basically like the packaging and all that. So it does look like the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I don't have her lipstick, so I can't really compare it for you. But yeah i definitely think it does look like it and it has just on the bottom revolution so it's got their like logo and name and on the other side it's it's got the sticker of the name of the lipstick so you know which one you're using obviously and this one is exempt and it's the one that i've got on my lips so yeah and then it just basically looks like that like an ordinary lipstick and i just think it looks gorgeous so definitely a favourite of their lipsticks because these ones are literally stunning. So the first one I'm going to try is Greatest which is just this nude colour and yeah let's just see what this one's like. So they're quite creamy which is really good and they apply really well. Okay so this one is just a plain nude colour and it goes really well for makeup looks that you're just going for like a nude natural look and it was really easy to apply and I quite like this one so I'm definitely going to use this one for makeup looks that are just going to go for like a natural subtle look and it just looks really nice I like how it really just makes my makeup look look simple and I just really like this one so this one is definitely a must have if you are literally one of those nude junkies because this nude is definitely the one that you need so the next lipstick I will be trying is lifelong and it's just this dark nude colour with a bit of pink and I think these are the sort of nudes that I kind of tend to wear a bit more because I kind of like to have a tint to my lips rather than just a nude colour so I'm hoping that this one is a good one so again they're really creamy which is really good okay so lifelong like I said is a bit more of a darker pink and I quite like this one. I definitely will be using it more in the spring and summer. And I just think this one will go well with any natural look really. And I'm just really liking it. I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder because I just think this one is actually quite a nice colour. And I definitely will be using it more. And I definitely recommend it. So, so the next one I will be trying is Lux. And this one is just a dark brown colour. And I don't really tend to use dark brown colours. So I'm quite excited for this one and I'm just really really excited to use this one okay so it's very dark okay different okay so Lux is definitely a shade that I've never really worn before and at the moment I'm quite liking it it's just like a dark rustic orange brownie colour I guess and I quite like it I think it will be definitely most worn in like the autumn time and winter maybe but yeah I definitely like this colour definitely a colour that I've never worn before so definitely just something different I guess so the next shade that I'm going to try is this one which is called classic and it's just this bright red colour and yeah I'm just hoping that this one will be really nice because I tend to like to wear them in the summer or at Christmas because Christmas is just your traditional lip colour so yeah let's try this one. Oh, so it's definitely really bright look how bright that is Okay, so Classic is pretty much a bright red lipstick, so if you're into your red lipsticks, I definitely recommend you buying this one because it is literally blinding. And I think I'll be wearing it in the summer because it's just one of those really nice popping red colours. So definitely loving this one and yeah, it's just creamy like the others and my favourite red lipstick I guess because I'm not really one to wear red lipstick. And this one is just making me want to wear it more, so... And I wish it was Christmas because, oh my god, this would look so nice. 
And the last lipstick shade that I will be trying is Exempt, and it's just this dark plum cherry colour, which, as you all know, I really like my dark cherry colour lipsticks, so I really have high hopes for this one. And yeah, we're just going to try it. Okay, so I'm a bit unsure about this shade, only because I used a similar colour, but a matte one by MAC, and this one just seems to be a bit too creamy to be what I'd like, so I'm not really a fan of this one, but I suppose I'd grow to it if I keep using it more, so I'm not going to say that I don't like this one, because I just need to try and get used to it, and see, now I'm starting to grow to it just by looking at me in the viewfinder, so it is starting to grow to me, but I don't like the creaminess. I think I just like matte plum colours, so definitely just need to start to get used to it, so I will be using it more. And yeah, I just think this one will be great for autumn or winter makeup looks. So yeah, I don't know, I'm just not really a fan of the creaminess of the lipstick. Like, I like the colour and everything, but I just think it's a bit too creamy to be what it is. Like, too dark, I don't know, it's just something's not... It just might be just too dark to be creamy. I think, I think that's what it is, it's too dark to be creamy. <laughs> Other than that, I really do think that it's an alright lipstick, so nothing bad about it other than it just being a bit too dark for its creaminess, I guess, so, but I'll definitely be using it. So that's all the lipsticks that I tried from their new range. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it so I can do more videos like this or just give me recommendations that you'd like to see so I can do that. Please subscribe because I just love your support and it all helps so please subscribe and yeah I'll see you in my next video. Bye!